Goddess Kring Radio. Shannon Kring. Goddess Kring. Shannon Kring. Goddess Kring. This is Hollow Earth Radio. It's June 8th, 2017, and this is going to be Goddess Kring podcast number 34. My number one fan got me a keyboard. So now here's my first recording on my new keyboard. Check it out. Goddess Kring, Shannon Kring in podcast 34. Welcome. recorded okay. This is Shannon Kringen, Goddess Kring. I have a new keyboard and that was me improvising on the black keys with the flute sound effect on this electronic keyboard I have. My number one fan got me this keyboard and I'm really grateful and happy. Thank you so much. So thank you for listening. I'm just going to play around and see what I can do. That's actually recorded on the keyboard and then I just held my mic up to the keyboard speaker. I know the way I'm supposed to do it is do the whole USB thing plugged from the electronic keyboard into my computer, but I can't figure that out right now and I just feel really ADHD and don't have the patience. So I'm just going to jimmy rig it and do it the primitive way that I know how. Thank you for listening. Goddess Kring, Shannon Kringen. This is Hollow Earth Radio Seattle. Podcast number, are we 33 or 34 now? I'm not sure. Thanks for tuning in. And the second recording I did on my new keyboard is a little recording of a song that I wrote when I was 11 that I never really developed or finished. So it's a little bit uh, simple. And I recorded it with what, what sound effect? I think it's the guitar. The first one you just heard was with the flute. I improvised mostly on the black keys with the flute sound. And up next is a little song I wrote, which I has no title. I just called it Little Song I Wrote When I Was 11, when I first discovered Tom Petty, who widens my jetty. And I recorded this with the guitar sound on my new keyboard. Check it out.
I was just sitting here and reflecting on being an artist and how being an artist model has been such a life-saving godsend to me, if that's even the correct term, a godsend. I got into modeling for artists in 1992, and I've kind of been a creative person my whole life, but I don't think I have the drive in me to like try to be a full-time artist. I've never really even tried. And I know people who are full-time artists. Some of the people that I model for actually aren't even teaching art anymore. Instead, they're full-time artists. I won't mention the names of people, but I know some very successful people who are actually making a living full-time from their art. Let me just say that I think I have talent, but I think I'm lazy. Like, I don't mean to put myself down, but I'm trying to just be honest. Maybe it's because I use a lot of my energy in creating my full-time freelance job as a model for other artists and I also work with medical students as a, a model patient for them and a lot of my time and energy goes into coordinating my schedule and I really do like working with other people and having other people depend on me showing up and so it's kind of like I'm self-employed and I'm freelance but I work for art schools and medical schools. And so I'm not really like self-employed in terms of everything is, is done by me alone. I actually am hired by schools, medical and art. And so it's kind of like a certain kind of freelance self-employment as opposed to somebody who works alone in their art studio full time and then sells their work. So instead, I just make my full living working for other people. So it's kind of like, I almost feel like it's not really self-employment, but it kind of is. So it's like I'm considered a part-time temporary employee of the art schools. And some of them I've modeled for for the whole 25 years I've been working. So I'm still considered part-time temporary employee, even though I've been there 25 years. So it's kind of like I really am freelance so I was going to say being an art model has been such a great thing for me and I do like to sit and daydream and I have to say I think it's easier being an art model than it is being an artist because I just I just I mean you know it takes a lot of stamina and energy to pose for artists and that that takes a certain amount of skill and it is an art form in itself you know posing and being a, an art model but I have to say that it's just, it's so much easier, I think, than making art and being an artist. And so I think part of me is kind of lazy about trying to be a really great artist. Like I think I've done some cool work and I put it on my website. I've taken some, some really great pictures and then some pictures that aren't as great. And I just tend to put them all up on my website. I guess I'm like not a perfectionist. I've witnessed people who are perfectionists and they're really critical and uptight about what they do. And that kind of uh, stresses me out. And But maybe I've gone too far in the other direction, which is that I'm kind of sloppy and I'm like, eh, good enough. And I just kind of throw stuff out there. And so I think some of my art, if you sh if you Google, you know, Shannon Creek and Goddess Creek, you know, some of the stuff you find I think is great and some of it is kind of sloppy and not, not my best work. So I will say that I guess I think of my, my artistic expression as a stream of consciousness, as a multimedia, uh, visual, audio, I've done video, I've done um, poetry, and I've done some music, and I've done abstract, pure abstraction with painting, which is totally non-representational art, but I'm really inspired by the shapes I see in nature and plants and trees and animals and the shapes of like when you're in an airplane flying above a landmass, I'm really inspired by the shapes that I see in maps and geography and topography. And when I play the keyboard, it's, it's mostly improvisational and I make it up as I go and I just kind of do it by my intuitive feeling sense of what I want to do. And when I take photographs, I generally don't plan what I'm going to photograph. It's more like a Taoist kind of thing. Like I go for a walk 
and then I respond to what I see in the present moment. So I was going to say that being an art model has a God, is a godsend to me because it supports me financially and it also gives me uh, a freedom of my mind. You know, I sit there quietly in an art studio for, you know, anywhere from two and a half to four hours are most art classes. And when I work with medical students, it's anywhere from three hours to like a full seven hour day with a bunch of breaks in between. And so this gives me a way of making a living, at wh which is a lot easier than making art. So I'm just acknowledging this about myself. I'm just, I'm just figuring this out that I really, really like modeling and just showing up at an art studio and just trancing out and letting them draw or paint while I sit still. Or I do really short action poses. The quickest poses I've done are 15 seconds, and those are called gesture poses. And that's when you twist and turn your body and you do all the different kinds of poses that you could never hold for more than 15 seconds up to two minutes are usually gestures. And so I tend to do things where I twist and turn and bend my body in uh, really kind of challenging positions that are really stretching my muscles and stretching myself as much as I can go and giving them asymmetrical body shapes. So, you know, my arms and legs are in different positions on each side of my body and I twist my neck and I try to just do as many varieties of shapes with my body as I possibly can. And this includes standing, sitting, laying down, um, every combination you can think of. And then when they switch to the five minute poses, then I basically challenge myself by doing whatever I can hold for not much longer than five minutes. So I try to hold something that's challenging for me. So it's interesting for them to draw, but not painful to me. And then when we switch into the 10, 15, 20 minute poses, I pick something more comfortable that I can definitely hold without my muscles cramping up or going to sleep. And then when we do a three or four hour pose or a multi-session pose, then I pick something really comfortable that I can definitely hold really still in for 20 minutes at a time and then a five minute break. And then I go back into the same pose. The longest pose I've ever done I think is 65 hours. I worked uh, at a, a school that kind of specializes in realistic, more realistic art. And it was a three week class, Monday through Friday, six hours a day, you know, like three hours, an hour for lunch, and then another three hours. And that was Monday through Friday. So that was six hours a day times 15 days. So I think that's 60 that might have been 95 hours. I don't really know, but it's six times 15. However many hours that is, is the longest pose I've ever done. And they were doing a portrait of me, just my head and shoulders. And so I was sitting in a chair looking straight ahead and there was about 20 people in the room all drawing me, or I think they were painting. They started by sketching me and then they painted with oil paint on top, many, many layers and did like scumbling and glazing and, and various layers of oil paint and I just picked a spot on the wall to gaze at and then they put tape they outline your arms and legs with tape so that you can get back into the same position and then you just memorize where you're looking and try to always make sure you can look at the same spot so I really enjoy being around artists and the creative atmosphere and a positive learning environment. Sometimes there's really interesting music being played. Other times it's very quiet and there's no music, just people talking fairly quietly. So it's a really good atmosphere. So I really enjoy doing that and I'm so grateful. The older I get, the more I realize I'm so grateful that I found this way of making a living over 25, well, about 25 years ago in 1992. And I'm really not sure what else I would do without that job for me. So I'm just reflecting upon this. And I now have a keyboard, so I'm going to play some more music for you. 
and I think I'm going to be in a play in Fremont at the left of Lennon Theater based on the Twin Peaks story. I can tell you more about that as I know. I think I'm going to the rehearsal for that soon, rehearsal number two, and sometime in the month of July at the left of Lennon Theater. I think there'll be five different performances that I'll be in, and I play a small part in this play. I'm a little nervous about that, but I'm just going to do my best. And I think this year I'm actually skipping the Fremont Summer Solstice Parade off and on for the last 17 years since about the year 2000 or 1999. I have been one of the bike riders in the Fremont Summer Solstice Parade with body paint. And this year I got a modeling job on that same day just for three hours in the morning. So I might show up at the Fremont uh, uh, fair after I work that day or I might just go hang out in nature and take it easy. I usually do ride in the Gay Pride Body Pride Ride Parade. It's it's Body Pride Ride. We ride on our bicycles and we celebrate everybody. Everybody is beautiful. <laughs> so and it's part of the Gay Pride Parade and I'm honored to be part of that and so I probably will do that this year 2017. I think that's on the last Sunday of June. And then I think June 17th, 2017 is the Fremont Summer Solstice Parade, which I think starts this year at 1 p.m. And again, I will not be part of that this year because I'm going to model instead. And I'm happy that I got a portrait modeling job that day. So I'm going to sit and meditate for three hours while they do portraits of me. So it's a nice quiet thing to do, very different than the parade. And if I'm in the mood, then I'll ride my bike down to the, F the Fremont Fair after that and see if I can find friends in Gasworks Park. So thank you for listening. If anyone is listening, I'm not really sure how many people listen, but this is Goddess Kring podcast number 34 on Hollow Earth Radio, Seattle. It's June 8th, 2017. Here's some music. Let's see if I can.
Shannon Kring and Goddess Kring on keyboard. That's with the trumpet sound, and that is Improvisation by me. Thank you very much for listening. Oh my god, every time I try to play the harmonica, my cat freaks out and he comes over and gives me a weird look and then he like wants to sit on my lap and he wants me to stop playing the harmonica. And when I play the keyboard, he acts a little bit similar, like he wants me to stop making that noise and focus on him. So I don't think my cat is very musical. <laughs> so, okay, let's play some more. If you're in the mood to hear some really strange music, all you have to do is go to my website, uh, shannonkringen.com slash kringmusic.htm, and I have all kinds of MP3s that are free to download, uh, Creative Commons, you know, just free. So you can always listen for free and download for free, and you can also sample. I've had some people actually sample some of my spoken word poetry I think that's what I'll play next for you is here's some spoken word that somebody sampled and they mixed a drum beat with my voice. Here we go. It's Healing Kring Speak on Hollow Earth Radio Seattle, Goddess Kring Podcast 34. Thanks for tuning in. Moody me, many me's, evoking seas, vice set me free. Rocking the paradox, unlocking authenticity, dancing in this synchronicity, intertwined, unwinding lines of time, holding back a void dance, tuning in the tracks of what I seem to stack, persistently resisting a full life, embrace Embracing this space, not running away. Insight lights the way, despite fear, enjoying tantric kissing. Fishing dark water self, searching through deep doubt, sailing with the bright star. You are, you are, you are. Power tripper, soul ripper, cookie dough, doorknob spin. Freeze where you end up, bracket back early. Self-indulgent, overrate, underrate. It's all a beauty contest. Their ego wounds haunt me, taunt me, dare me to express outward. Shadows lit up, on and on, circling up. Bloodlines of DNA melt this away. Cracked branch. Ready to launch. Passionate lunch. Hunky dory. Crunchy munchy. You teach me, ancestors. I honor you. I choose you to show me. Plant me. Stand with me. I love and forgive you. Me, we. Lightning seed of green. Eyes on rising steam. Healing really does reveal the dreams. Authentic ejaculation of my soul. Molten orange liquid glow. Let this truth show. Rooted in youth glow. Beginner's mind loving the tide lines. It should be fashion to be, honey. Be passionate. Off that tower with the flowers. Bittersweet but mostly sweet. Nectar life. All worth this path, a road less traveled. Embrace, cut a little doubt in this drought of passion. Now with big, big, yummy, honey dripping. 
between to sensuality, spirituality, duality, non-duality, exploring all aspects. Eucalyptus sent the wind, eucalyptus sent the back. Let that big wave go. Anger takes its toll. Power can't the bush pricks my big toe. Being rolled on that metal shelf. Feeling much stamina I have. Growing in the knowing. Show in the living. Embracing grace. Moonshone face. Intimacy chasing me. Feel like it's erasing me. But no. Intimacy spacing me. Now know it's loving me. Tepelodi Canyon. Shin. Shin Diego. Honoring clarity. Exploring rarity. Seeing it's useless to be defensive. Always trying to prove it. Better to be moved by it. Knowing inspiration is the station I want to be in. Limelight enjoying solitude and deep sea diving. Savoring silence and soul speak. Introverted extrovert is I. Daring to share. Circle soul try. No one bribed. Freedom to choose. Not there to lose. But sure, healing the blues wound. Paradox through the door. A group for loners and they all showed up. I must confess that, yes, I bless this mess. Fertile luck, lessons, soul, uniting lightning. I have integrated the carrot, capiche? She dances in the moonlit stack of thunder light. Inviting those of you wanting this belonging. Shannon Kringen, Goddess Cream, 2010. so that's the grand piano sound effect on my keyboard and I'm just kind of warming my fingers up there and that last part was like this um, pitch twang uh, dial I don't know what it's called the pitch twang dial is what I call it pitch twang the twang pitch the pitch twang so thanks for listening I'm just goofing around today and trying to create some interesting audio for you I strongly urge you to be creative and do what you want to do, whether it's visual art, performing, music, theater, dance, acting, comedy, painting, drawing, sculpture, singing, dancing, running around and doing roller skate spins and turns and trips and trips and skips and lips and yeah. 
So, follow your dreams. Bada boo, bada bing, stinging rings the cring. Catch the wind song, spiral drive, crack the code, left and right node, and you know the rest. Everybody doesn't like something, but nobody doesn't like Cheryl Lee. Cheryl Lee Cheesecake, available frozen, wrapped in plastic, in the diary, I mean, dairy case. So good, it's almost sinful. Hey, this is Shannon Kringen, Goddess Kringen, Seattle, and I'm going to be in a play uh, called Twin Peaks Live Episode 3, and in Seattle at the West of Lenin Theater, July 7th, 8th, 14th, and 15th at 8 p.m., and July 9th and 16th at 4 p.m., and let's see, I will put a link to it if I can find one. The address is in Seattle, west of Lennon Theater. It's in the Fremont neighborhood. It's 203 North 36th Street. So I will find a link for that and share it as soon as I know it. Thanks for listening. I'm going to play the part of Audrey, uh, but I get to be wrapped like a mummy in bandages in a wheelchair, and I get to speak with a voice box, so I sound like a robot, like Stephen Hawking, like a robot type voice box sound, so with no emotion. And then I get to do a little more seductive commercial where I play... Uh, Sarah Lee, Cheryl Lee, wrapped in plastic, talking about cheesecake and being all seductive. So it's a little uh, comedy commercial. So I get to do two voices. I get to do the voice box voice like a robot. And then I get to do the more seductive cheesecake voice. Cheryl Lee, Sarah Lee and Cheryl Lee. Or Cheryl Lee, Sarah Lee, cheesecake. And... <laughs> Sarah Lee and Cheryl Lee Cheesecake. So, and the robot voice, the voice box voice, I will practice this more. Thank you for listening to Goddess Cream Seattle. Okay, Seattle. Okay, thanks.
Shannon Kring and Goddess Kring on keyboard. That's with the trumpet sound, and that is Improvisation by me. Thank you very much for listening. keyboard doing some little improv there that was fun okay check it out wow thanks for listening <laughs> Listening to Hollow Earth Radio Seattle. This is Goddess Kring podcast by Shannon Kringen. Thanks for listening. Blue, blue lipstick, pencils tagging amber melts the sand, waiting rugs tilting lens, green peach skin, swirling marble. Stay away from beige, you say. Embrace shadow, we may. Sweeping broom, sweeping broom, sweeping brooms. Opal's moon. Justify solitude. Just to fight, just to fight, just to Dismissive ability, not casual, yet professional.
You're listening to Shannon Kringen, Goddess Kring, podcast number 34 on Hollow Earth Radio Seattle. This is experimental poetry and music that I've created. And all of the keyboards are me and the voices are me. And the guitar music you're hearing is my friend Nibby Nebulous. But it's mostly just me solo on all of these tracks. Thanks for tuning in. My website, shenningkringen.com. If you want to hear more MP3s of my experimental music and poetry, they're all free. Thank you so much for listening. Nasturtium, 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 I've from sea. Yesterday, as he was climbing the tree with a golden retriever, bump, bump, Ariel Waldman, Joni, 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 Casey McKinnon, bump, Susie Blue, Ratorn, Brian Shaves, most of his hair off, and then the circumference of the wheel and the goat fabric shined on. As the ocean As monkey the ocean moon, moon roared down, 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 down the skeleton, the skeleton of, the of the sea spray, and the spider and plant, the spider plant scribbled, scribbled with a sharpie, with a sharpie marker, marker on the marker couch, on the couch curled, curled up orange, curled gray, orange and gray, and gray, and white. The green the sleeping green bag sleeping tickled, bags, the tickled the pumpkins that were just that freshly, were just carved, freshly carved, carved, and the Tibetan and flags the Tibetan blew in the wind. As the birds as ate, the the birds suet, ate the suet, and the marble and monkey slunker was in the corner with the, corner with the gorilla, and then I saw a lion jumping inside the spider plant the spider once again, once again into, the rich, into the rich, fertile soil, fertile soil as the volcano, as the volcano erupted green. Shimmered down to the nasturtium and the daffodils and the daffodils and the dahlias and the dahlias. And I painted green and I painted stripes green on my stripes face on my as I walked barefoot on the ocean of ocean. And there was opalescent glass tubes flying in the air. And then I saw through the alleyway. Godzilla, Godzilla having lunch, having lunch with, with Tori Amos and Mick Jagger and, Mick and, Jagger, and, Neil, and Young. Neil Young. And then, and then I saw then Sasquatch, Sasquatch himself, Sasquatch himself smiling, at smiling at me as he drank as he his, drank, his as dark his chocolate, chocolate blended Balachino and he winked at me and said, Hello, would you like to sit on my lap? Drink some tea drink with some me. Tea with Chamomile, Chamomile is, very is very soothing. And, and the green heart the green looked on. Heart looked and, on. And, the blue and the blue circles, blue circles spun, spun, the spun the plates, shattering them on the ground. Into the green, into the green chlorophyll, sandalwood, sandalwood land, land, dotting, dotting, dotting and trotting. And and schlumping the mump, and monking the slunk, and the calalelis were in blue once again, with the painted boot, and the glitter drum, cream drum, and the tapir smiled on, willing its whistle, wanking its schlanker, schlanker, schlank, and the birdhouse and the incense smoked, and smoked, and smoked in a fire of love and light, and the 
consciousness of the of the of the of the physics of the paw print and the DNA spiral by spiraling by the siren sky and the opal was here for you for once again hold on to your glow on to your glow 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 baby glow baby glow baby glow okay where does it start okay where does it start Maintain your game, I'll maintain your game, I'll maintain your game. Step off of my soul. Hold on to your glow. 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 Maintain your game. I'll maintain your game. I'll maintain your game. Step off of my soul. 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 Hold on to your glow. Your glow. Hold on to your glow. Okay, I'm fucked up, but whatever. Hold on to your Hold on to your I'm only joking. I'm only joking. I'm only joking. But I'm only joking. Only joking. Only joking. Just joking. Just joking. Just joking. I'm only joking. I'm only joking. Maintain your game. I'll maintain your game. I'll maintain your game. Step off of my soul. Hold on to your glow. I'll remain insane. I'll remain insane. Your game, your I'll game, I'll maintain your game, your game, your game, your game, your game, your game, step off step my soul, 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 your game, 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 your Hold on to your glow. Hold on to your glow. The wolf says, "Be cool, eternal values, struggles, struggles, stay." Goddess Kring Radio, Shannon Kringen, Goddess Kring, Shannon Kringen, Goddess Kring. Goddess Kring Radio, Shannon Kringen, Goddess Kring, Shannon Kringen, Goddess Kring.